Looney Little, The Ice Cap is Melting by Diana Hutz Aston Illustrated by Kelly Murphy On a cold summer night, when the Arctic sun was shining brightly, a drop of water fell plop on Looney Little's head. Great top of the world, she wailed. The polar ice cap is melting. I must go tell the polar bear queen. Looney Little flew northward as fast as she could. On a high cliff, she met Dovekey Lovekey. Where are you going, Looney Little? asked Dovekey Lovekey. The polar ice cap is melting and I'm going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little. Goodness glaciers, squawked Dovekey Lovekey. Why is it melting? I will come with you and ask the polar bear queen. The two flew on northward until they spied Puffin Muffin floating on the sea. Where are you going? asked Puffin Muffin. The polar ice cap is melting and we are going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little and Dovekai Lovekai. Suffering Puffalumps, screeched Puffin Muffin. Without ice we can't live. I will come with you to tell the polar bear queen. The three swam along until they met Harry Clary on the shore. Where are you going? asked Harry Clary. The polar ice cap is melting and we are going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little, Dovekey Lovekai and Puffin Muffin. Leaping lemmings, snuffled Harry Clary. If the ice cap melts, the sea will rise and my den might flood. I will come with you and tell the polar bear queen. So they scooted and waddled and hopped northward until they met Seely Sally coming up for a breath of air. Where are you going? asked Seely Sally. The polar ice cap is melting and we are going to tell the polar bear queen, replied Looney Little, Dovekey Lovekai, Puffin Muffin and Hairy Clary. Be careful, barked Seely Sally. The polar bear queen ate my cousin just last week. She will eat all of you too. Oh dear, wailed Looney Little. Oh my, squawked Dovekey Lovekey. Oh no, screeched Puffin Muffin. Let's not tell the polar bear queen, snuffled Hairy Clary. Just then, Foxy Loxy appeared. Where are you going in such a rush? he asked. We were going to see the polar bear queen, said Looney Little. To tell her the ice cap is melting, said Dovekey Lovekey. But Seely Sally told us the polar bear queen is dangerous, said Puffin Muffin. So we are turning back, said Harry Clary. Oh no, please don't turn back, said Foxy Loxy. Not without delivering such important news. But the polar bear queen might eat us, wailed Looney Little. No, she won't, said Foxy Loxy. Not if I escort you. Come, I will take you to her. And so Looney Little, Dovekey Lovekey, Puffin Muffin and Hairy Clary followed Foxy Loxy. But Looney Little, who couldn't waddle or hop as well as the others, fell behind. Wait for me! cried Looney Little, tripping over something in the snow. Stop! Looney Little wailed. We've been tricked! That's Foxy Loxy's lair! He's going to eat us! Thinking quickly, she pecked a nugget of ice from the ground and flung it at Foxy Loxy. It hit him squarely on the head. Great midnight sun, howled Foxy Loxy. The polar ice cap is melting. I must go tell the polar bear queen. In a blur of fur, he took off running. Foxy Loxy found the polar bear queen sprawled near a hole in the ice, waiting for Seely Sally to come up for air. Quick! Run for your life, shouted Foxy Loxy. The polar ice cap is melting. How awful, roared the polar bear queen. Tell me more after dinner. And she ate Foxy Loxy. Soon the four friends were safe on a southerly course. Oh my goodness, 
The polar bear queen is dangerous, said Dovekey Lovekey. And she doesn't seem to care about the ice cap melting, said Puffin Muffin. What should we do? asked Harry Clary. There must be something we can do, said Looney Little. It's up to us to find out, Looney Little replied. All of us. Looney Little, The Ice Cap is Melting by Diana Hutz Aston, illustrated by Kelly Murphy.